and some cook those home. Book first. Chapter 19 How men cannot be saved without satisfaction for sin. And some, it was fitting for God to fill the places of the air of the fallen angels from among men. Also, that is certain and some. Therefore, they ought to be in the heavenly empire as many men taken as substitute for the angels as would correspond with the number of whose place they shall, they, shall, they shall take, that is, as many as there are good angels now. Otherwise, they who fail will not be restored, and it will follow that God either could not accomplish the good which he began, and, we, and he will repent of having undertaken it, either of which it, of which is absurd. Also, truly, it is fitting that men should be equal with good angels. As um, have good angels ever seen? Also, no. Can you think, as um, can you think that man who has sinned and never made satisfaction unto God for his sin, but only have but only been suffered to go unpunished, may become the may become the equal of an angel who has never seen? Also, these words I can I can both think and uh, of an utter but can now perceive the meaning that I can make those put out of us food and them. Therefore, it is not fitting that, that, that God should take sinful men without an atonement and substitution for lost angels, for truth will not suffer men to thus to be raised to an equality with holy beings. Also, reason shows this. And some consider also leaving out the question of equality with the angels, whether God, whether God are under such circumstance, circumstances to raise men to the same or a similar kind of happiness as that which he had before he said. Bosso, tell your opinion, and I will attend to it as well as I can. Answer. Suppose a rich man possessed a choice pearl which had, be, had never been defied, and, will, and which could not be taken for his hand, for his hands without his permission, and that he determined to commit it to the treasury of his dearest and most valuable possessions. Also, I accept your supposition, and some, what if he should allow it to be struck from his hand and cast in the mire? Though he might have pre prevented it, and afterwards taking it all aside by the mire and unwashed, should submit it again to his beautiful and loved casket. Will you consider him a wise man? Bosso, how can I? For would I, for would it not be far better to keep and preserve his per book than to have it polluted? And some would not God be acting like this, who helped man in paradise, as it were in his own hand, without sin, and destined to the society of angels, and allowed the devil, inflamed with envy, to cast him into the mire of sin, into the mire of sin, truly truly with man's consent. For had God chosen to restrain the devil, the devil could not have tempted man. No, I say. Will not God be acting like this? Should he restore, restore men stained with the defile of sin and was that is without any satisfaction and always to remain so? Should he restore him at once to paradise for which he had been thrust out? Also, I dare not, I dare not deny the aptness of your comparison where God do this and therefore do, the, do not admit that he can do this, for it should seem either that he could not accomplish what he designed, or else that he repented of his good intent, neither of which things is possible with God. Answer. Therefore, consider it settled that, without satisfaction that is, without voluntary payment of the debt, God can neither pass by the sin and punish, 
nor can the sin attain the happiness or happiness like that which he had before his sin. For man cannot in this way restore or become such as he was before his sin. He said, Bosso, I am wholly unable to refute your reasoning, but what, you, but what say you this? But what say you to this? That we pray God, put away our sins from us. And every nation praise the God of its faith to put away its sins. For we pay our tap. Why do you why do we pray God to put to put it away? Is not God unjust to demand what he what has already been paid? If he do not make payment, why do we supplicate in vain that he will not that he will do what he cannot do? Because it is unbecoming. Answer: He who does not pay sins pays in vain. Pardon, but he who pays makes supplication, because prayer is properly connected with the payment. For God owes no man anything, but every creator owes God, and therefore it does not become man to treat with God as we as with an equal. But of this. It is not now needful for me to answer you, for when you think why Christ died, I think you will see yourself the answer to your question. Also, your reply with regard to this matter suffices me for the present, and moreover, you have so clearly shown that no man can attain happiness in sin or be freed from sin without satisfaction for the trespass. That if and were as so disposed, I could not doubt it.